What's going on, y'all? My name is Kaj. Welcome back to another video. Today is an Apex related video, but I'm not actually going to be playing Apex. Got the largest tier list. I don't know if anyone's done this before. You can check me if you want to in the comments. Someone probably will if they've seen it. But I'm going to be taking a tier list and putting in the legends, the guns, the hop ups, and the maps. Basically, everything that's important to the game that makes it Apex. And uh, just all in one go, no need to separate it into multiple videos. I'm also gonna be throwing in Valkyrie and uh, the uh, the bow, the bow. I'm putting those two things and just like kind of predict where I think they're gonna go. I'm probably gonna be wrong, but like it, it don't hurt to try, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, uh, if you're ready for the video, go ahead and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. You can also subscribe to my streaming channel. I play mainly Apex Live, but I feel like I'll occasionally branch off besides titanfall 2 that's that's basically it's all respawn but i'll play other games too sometimes but i play with viewers occasionally but uh yeah uh let me know your thoughts on the list uh once it's over you know what i'm saying and um i reply in my comments and enjoy the video so here we have the list all the legends all the guns and the hop-ups in three maps like i said uh, i'm thinking i'm gonna do legends first then guns matter of fact let's do guns first then legends then maps, and then we'll do the two new things, which is the Val Valkyrie and the bow. So, first gun, the Arthur one is S tier. It's pretty much never been anything but S tier, in my opinion. Like, super consistent, high damage, and anvil is back, so it has a hop up again. Like, I, I don't see how it isn't. Ah, uh, the alternator. It can't hit like a 99 or a volt can because it's just, just pure fire rate. But it is A tier just because like the recoil is very very doable. Now on top of that, it does like it does pretty high damage per shot, so I think it's A tier. Next up, we have the beak. For the sake of, I mean the hammer, the uh, hop ups are here, so I'm just not gonna include a hop ups when I talk about it. D tier, obviously. But with the hop up, let's say theoretically, I would put it in B tier. But you still have to crack them first, and like, yeah. So, and then charge rifle. Everyone knows I hate this gun that has seen any of my content, but it is a good gun. Me personally, I think it should be taken out of the game. It doesn't have a place in Apex, a hit scan gun, when everything else is about leaving shots. Like the longbow is the worst sniper in the game and it takes the second most skill. Set no more because you know, you can't, you know, spam fire it. But besides that, I give it a, I give it an A tier. You can do pretty high damage with it. You do have to have good tracking, but you have to have tracking with every sniper. So, yeah, Devo. Without Turbo. Without Turbo, it's B tier because it does take a while to charge up. But with Turbo, it is S tier. That thing mercs. And if you can get the recoil down, like I kind of got the recoil down on it, that you're not beating a Turbo Charge Devo. That's why I got in the care pack, if you remember that. Uh, EVA 8, with the massive going down as it did, I don't know if I'm going to put it in S tier, but like it also is the best shotgun. Uh, I'll re I might rearrange this stuff at the end of the guns. G7 Scout, A tier. Guess because of the versatility thing, it's like purely mid to long range. The hip fire is really good, but... If you miss like one or two shots with it up close and you're fried because someone's using a Volt or a 99 or a 301 or a Wingman or whatever the fuck they're using, but you, you know what I'm saying. Havoc. A tier. Even without Turbocharger. With Turbocharger, S tier easily just because the time to kill is one of the lowest in the game. It does have really bad recoil, but with practice, I'd say it can be S tier. Maybe with like if you're not used to. Uh, recoil control and like you're still getting used to it. It's hard to gun to use Then I will put I guess you could throw it in a tier with the turbo as well But I would have an S tier with the turbo charger it the time to kill is so fast and like you don't have to worry about a charge up with a turbo Hemlock fall from grace. It used to be like it there was a hemlock. There was dead as a hemlock meta in season What was that seven or six? But yeah, that was a thing right now though B tier It's very it's solid, but replaceable Kraber S tier. Uh, yeah. L star. C tier. You can get the job done with it, but it's always better options. Same with the longbow. Just not viable, honestly. It only, do, it only does 55 a shot. 
when I mean if you get a flat line with anvil you can hit I believe it's 38 to the body because it doubles the damage in single fire with anvil it's like 30 something to the body and then like 60 or 70 maybe to the head so I mean yeah it's just getting beat by anvil assault rifle which is kind of sad mastiff I'm gonna say because of that nerf it's B tier if it's A tier then the evil would have to go to S because evil is just a step above P20 no hammers D tier and then B tier D tier and then B tier with hammers peacekeeper S tier I mean the massive got nerfed so bad and the PK still I mean it's still good so it, it hits hard PK shots scare me just like the massive shot used to prowler People say it's not that good, but I every time I pick it up, I get I fry people with it, and I know that's just me, but it's still consistent. You have two fire mode, you have auto fire, and it hits hard. Heavy will slow you down, also, unless you give your caustic. It's an auto mode, so I have it in S tier personally. Ninety nine also in S tier. It's a um, we call it high risk high reward because of the fire rate, but. The time to kill is the fastest in the SMGs, so that's the main reason it's got to be up in S tier. The re, it's it's C tier. It's a really fun gun to use with the hop, even with the hop up, still C tier. It doesn't make much of a difference because the hip fire is good regardless. But it's a very fun gun to use. But I don't know, it's just not the greatest anymore. I'm looking at this hemlock and B tier. I'm starting to think, I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments where the hemlock should be. I'm a little. And then, yeah, I'm a little iffy on that one, but the uh, repeater, I got that in C tier. That gun is just not, there's not enough uses for it. It's way too, like, specific situations where it is good, but too many where it is bad. Like, if you get caught close range with that, you're probably dead. If you get caught long range with that, with skill, you can get it done, but there's better options for that. Again, that Anvil Flatliner or Anvil 301. Sentinel. My favorite sniper, but not the best sniper in the game, I'll admit. I'd say it's A tier. Just because it is a bold action, so it's you're gonna have it's you're gonna have to um what do you call it? Be a lot more precise with your shots, and if you get caught up close with it, it is the versatility is where it's lacking. Same with the charge rifle, to be honest, but charge rifle is a little bit easier to scan, you know what I mean? Flatline, S tier. In my opinion, the best gun in the game, well, best floor loot gun in the game. I know the Kraber's best gun in the game. But yeah, 19 to the body and 38 to the head. Literally the exact same numbers as a Spitfire, but it's firing faster. I just realized I forgot the Spitfire, so give me a second. Okay, yeah, slight hiccup. I forgot the Spitfire somehow. I hate the gun so much right now, it's completely left my mind. My mind didn't even want to think about it. But it is S tier, obviously. Exact same damage as a flatline. Way easier recoil, slightly slower fire rate, but you can control it at long range, so it completely makes up for it with that. I don't think anyone's going to question it. Triple take? Ah! I think it is a step above the Sentinel. Sentinel is A tier for me. I'm going to put it in S tier because you can use it close range as a really good hip fire has a built-in precision choke now since whenever they did that uh, buff and you get hit with a triple take and much you can really do about it like the the uh, bullet drop on it is not nearly as much as it would be on a longbow or a sentinel just because it's well energy ammo but it's sniper ammo but it's a firing energy bullets because that's how it used to be excuse me next we have the volt also s tier the rival is not only going to rival the 99 up close what it doesn't have in very, very, very slight difference in time to kill. Well, it used to be like very, it was like literally like neck and neck. And then they nerfed the damage a little bit and that's what brought it down. That's what made me like 99 more. Because the Volt was better than, 99, than the 99 for a little bit. But once I nerfed it, in my opinion, it, the 99 became the best SMG again. And finally, we have the Wingman. Still an S tier weapon just because how fast you can down someone hitting headshots. One of the most high high uh, risk high reward guns in the game. 
takes a lot of skill to use, but has a lot of benefits if you have that skill. So I'm, I keep it in S tier. Now we have the legends. In whatever random order I put them in. Bangalore. You can call me biased. S, I'm playing. I got her in A tier. A lot of people have said that she's been B tier since she came out. But I think since Olympus came out, she's been able to shine more in open space. And just like, how you smoke is everything with Bangalore pretty much. That's her entire, like it pretty much makes or breaks Bangalore in a game, which is her smoke. But yeah, the smoke obstructs vision and you can't, they can't see you and they're not going to shoot you. Well, what? Bloodhounds aside. But yeah, they can't see, they can't shoot you. So it gives you a way to either push, get into position, run away, or just reposition in general. And with her ult, it can do damage, yeah, but most, I, th I think Bangalore mains know that you're not really aiming for damage with it. You're just really trying to move the team out the way. Especially like if they're on high, let's say they're on high ground above you, you just want to move them off of that. Or if they eat the damage and you have a horizon on your team, you can push them, that too. But yeah, I have an A tier, Bloodhound S tier. I mean, wall hacks, literal wall hacks with the scan. He can track people. And then his ult, you have the digi threat for eyes. And then fa scanning faster along the way, like, ain't nothing but S tier. Caustic, fall from grace. B tier. That gas, that gas nerf hit him hard. Still useful, but better options in, in the defense department. Crypto. I want to put him in S tier, but the only reason I don't is because everything is in his drone. If you destroy his drone, he doesn't he can't do anything. But obviously he can scan people without him being there, which is highly useful for getting info. Same with beacons, same with banners. But he's also he's not there, so he's stationary. So if you crypto and you get caught. And you're just sitting, you're just sitting body, you're dead. He's like a I guess he's kind of high risk high reward, but like you, a lot a mistake a lot of crypto mates make is just being in their drone too much, to the point where they're not even involved in the fights that they're starting. Knowing when to use your EMP is imp imperative. But fuse, I think he's the only D tier legend. He just doesn't have any use in the game. I forgot he was in the game for a solid month because I, I was never seeing him around. Like, he throws more grenades than everyone else. Cool. I haven't noticed it, but cool. Has his cluster grenade. It does a little bit of damage, it slows you down. Yeah, I get that. But, I mean, we're talking about built-in projectiles. That's what we have Revenant for. But yeah, I got, I got him a D tier. His ult is super weak. Complete, way, way underpowered. Just not, not effective at all. Gibby is S tier, still. He doesn't have the uh, the fast deals in his dome anymore, but he can still res you quicker. He has fortified. He has an airstrike, and he has um. I feel like I'm missing something with him. Oh, how can I forget it? The the shield, the uh, arm shields, like it, too many abilities, and a good Gibby that can bubble fight is terrifying. Horizon S tier, best legend in the game, like God tier movement. Lifeline, B tier. Her only use is the res, but the res is super helpful when it's there. But like when everyone's alive, she ain't really doing nothing. Loba, C tier. Can be very clutch in like late game situations, whether your team's out of ammo or you just want to spam some grenades. Everyone grab two out and just chuck them. She has, she has a, um, she has use and like just her ult is her entire utility. If her bracelet gets a buff and she can move quicker while it's being thrown and when she lands she can move full speed at that time too i think she could get moved up in the ranks more she'll be a lot more fun to play that way i did main her in season five when she came out did like uh a thousand kills on her almost and she got the fada but yeah mirage yeah he's better than cosmic I, i'm i haven't been oh mirage is a weird one because a lot of times, Mirages can help and hurt their team at the same time. What I mean by that is his ult. When he runs in a circle with his ult, like your teammates can get 
confusing the enemies running in but i mean i guess if you're if you're you have con good comms with your team then that you can divert that a little bit i i'm gonna keep him in a tier for now we might adjust stuff later but octane a tier right now that jump pad buff i don't know why that was just with a thing that the magic thing he needed but he is good now i am seeing way too many octanes this season way too many pathfinder a tier they finally took that refrigerator of a hitbox off of him and took away low profile but yeah grapple is great movement zipline high ground easily he can scan beacons but that's the ability that bloodhound and crypto both have but it does lower his cooldown for a zipline so at least there's that but he needs a better passive but besides that still a great legend rampart i got her in b tier i i like rampart now i didn't like her at first but I, she has a she has good use like even in like the midst of battle if you have a building near locking the door with a barrier and then just putting the turret there and just breaking it down and just having that area like pinned like she can hold buildings very very well and in open space if you get the barriers up in time the the amped cover is fry so yeah i got her in b to your revenant thing about revenant by himself he's not that great but when you pair him with octane or uh, horizon or wraith or even pathfinder that's where like he kind of shines with his ult and everything the silences are decent the passive is very, is nice but i don't know if it's enough to get him in the a tier i don't know if he's on the I'm gonna keep Mirage in B tier. That, that don't sit right with me. Yeah, I'm gonna keep him in B tier. Watson is also B tier. I mean, also my main for now until Valkyrie drops, but yeah, she's just not what she used to be. Because she, uh, her ult, it used to last like once you put it down, it was just there. There was no timer, and then until you put another one down, it was there. So, like that. Having just a trophy system that could just sit there forever was very nice, but not the case anymore. And just the way the game plays now, especially when you're playing ranked in Olympus, for instance, too much open space to cover. She can't really do much in open space, which has always been a problem with her. But the late game situations or late game positions she can hold on her own has always been her value. She's always been a ranked character, obviously. She's not the greatest to play in pubs. I have fun playing with her in pubs, but yeah i'd say she's b tier and wraith is i'd say a tier i i want to i kind of keep her an s just because that portal is just everything in her for her and like as delayed as her passive is like you still know when someone's aiming at you and i don't mean that like someone's about to shoot at you i mean like just late game you don't know where anyone's at and you know someone's aiming at you you know you're in a line of sight so you can move it's, it is delayed i get that but it's still helpful and the phase it has a delay so you can't use it so recklessly but i think it still has i think it still has a very good use and i think it's balanced honestly i'm not a wraith main so you know but yeah i think blood on gibby and horizon are definitely the best legends in the game i don't think anyone's really contesting that so now we got the maps Let's start with Kings Canyon, current Kings Canyon. I know this might be an old picture. Now we're talking a combination of ranked and pubs, not just ranked. Cause I know most people are like, oh, World's Edge is the best map, whatever, okay. I have an A tier because like Apex is built to be fast paced and hectic. And that's what Kings Canyon is. Like it, when everyone was hyping this game up, it was on this map. And even when the hype died down and came back in season two, it was still on this map. Like Kings Canyon, it, it's the smallest, but it causes more fights, it causes more hectic moments to happen throughout. And that's what makes it so great. Or that's what makes it so fun to play at times. It does have downtime, clearly. But thinking about it, because it is, I, I do like it a lot for pubs, but I think because of how squished it is for ranked, I would actually I'd say it's a B tier map, but it's still really fun. It gets away too much hate, but it's a, you know, people complain about everything. Olympus, I think because 
because it has a lot of open space, right? But for one, I didn't mention this in KC. KC is a decent looking map. It's just a little desert-ish, you know? And it has like swamps and everything, but... Okay, Olympus is like the best looking map, which is a thing. It's the largest map. And it has most open space and it has a lot of like... The POIs on Olympus are all very, very distinct and they're fun to fight that I don't have like dull moments fighting at any of the any of the POIs, no matter which one it is. And I personally like it for ranked, but I'm not a tough 100 predator or nothing, or 750, whatever it is. I like it. It's my favorite map, honestly. I have it in S tier personally. Uh, let me know what your favorite map in the comments. And now we have World's Edge. I think it's also S tier map. I think it's still very fun for pubs. I know I said KC gets too much hate. This is not me hating on it. I'm just saying that because of how challenging it is for rank that's what brings it down so much because most of i give it his a tier anyway but yeah eight but like ranked on king's canyon is a struggle especially if you're not playing with a team but olympus and world dead just flow a lot better people complain about olympus but people complain about everything so that's why i just uh, disregarding that second to last thing hop-ups info receiver is Hmm. Now the way I'm gonna look at hop-ups is this. Obviously it's functionality has to like, it has to improve the gun substantially, but like how many situations can it be used in like is it just useful like period or is it only useful at certain ranges? Yeah the other. So anvil is really only useful mid to long range, but it doubles the damage on single fire. But like, think about it this way. If we still had, uh, let's say select fire on the prowler, it would switch the mode to um to a single fire on the uh, havoc, which no one ever used. It was it wasn't that good. But with the anvil, I mean, with with that, it also went on the prowler, which made it auto fire. So like, it had a use on a gun for everything. You know what I mean? But with the anvil, it's only medium to long range, so I don't think I can put it in S tier and put it in A tier. Hammer point is also A tier. Actually, I'm gonna say B tier. Cause it I mean you have to crack them first. And if you're shooting at someone with a P20, you can get them cracked, yeah, but not in time for them not you're giving them time to more time to kill you doing that, so and then relying on switching to that gun right after you crack them can get you killed sometimes. But it's still very strong. Like once you do get them cracked, they're dead. Clearly, quick draw holster. And a C tier. It's it's kind of helpful, but not really. I mean, the hip fire on the wingman gets better. On the rear, it doesn't that much. I feel like it's exactly the same because it was already accurate to begin with. Scope tier, as well as turbo, are S tier. There is no bad situation to have these hop ups. Like a scope, a more headshot damage is more headshot damage means if they're purple armor or lower you're downing them in two shots with headshots turbocharger it makes the devo and the havoc s tier weapons so yeah putting them both in s tier now predictions for the bow and valkyrie the bow i'm a, i'm thinking it's gonna be like because like looking at how weapons have come out like historically only the volt and um I'm trying to think of weapons that came out the repeater was a no, that was bad. And season seven didn't have a weapon, I don't think. Sentinel. Mm, yeah. Havoc. Oh, Havoc is, yeah, not a launch weapon. But yeah. I'm going to have the bow in the B tier. I think it's going to take a lot to use that. Actually, I'm thinking it's actually going to hit very hard. Since how hacky you're going to have to be. So I'm, I'm keeping an A tier. And Valkyrie. I think she's going to be S tier, bro. Right? Like the movement, the ult is going to be ridiculous. The ability to finish off a fight and if you have to go just get your team next to you and just get out immediately just from that point you're in the sky is just impeccable and you can hover and fire a missile at somebody she's a high flying fuse literally so i got her in s tier They're, even the devs have said she's going to be overpowered or they think she's overpowered but they already have like a, a mid-season nerf planned out for her i'm like just I kind of like that she's going to come out overpowered just so we can enjoy it and then they're going to nerf her to be balanced. So yeah, this is the final list. Let me know how you would change things around. I think I'm pretty set with this, honestly. 
I didn't remember I didn't include hop-ups on the guns just for the sake of video not going on even longer I've been recording this for a half hour but yeah uh let me know your thoughts down in the comments I'll try to reply to as many as I can assuming there's a lot there's not gonna be a lot I'm just playing I'll reply to all the comments but um yeah go ahead leave a like subscribe to the channel for more go ahead and subscribe to the streaming channel as well down below socials are in the streamer links I will see you in the next video peace